So now let's take a look at what's involved. If I want to create a table function that returns more than one value, not just a list of strings or a list of numbers or dates, but maybe several different pieces of data. Now to refresh your memory, when I do simply want to create a table function that returns a, an array of a single value, then I can create that nested table type. Here, for example, is strings, a table of or collection of strings. I create my function to return a nested table of that type, declare it, populate it, return it, and then in my select statement, I can select from table of my nested table function, returns the collection, converts it into a relational table format, and then Oracle provides for me a hard-coded column value name that I can then use in my select statement, and I can rename it with a table alias, but that's it, column underscore value, handed to me by Oracle. Okay, so let's take a look at a more complex scenario. Suppose that I, I have a table called animals. It's, each animal has a name, species, date of birth. What I want to do is populate it with an insert select that is something like this. I've got a table function. It does all sorts of complex computations. You're going to see it in a moment. It's amazing. It takes in some parameter values, returns an array, and I put it inside the table clause to convert it into a relational table format. And now the question is, how do I select the individual elements from that array to use as the columns in my insert select statement? Now, at first glance, I bet you're thinking, oh, oh, I know what to do. Create a new type, animals NT, table of, table percent row type. Then it looks just the same as the relational table that I'm inserting into. Let's try it. Create the type. Oh, doesn't work. Schema level type has a legal reference to Stephen.animals. Well, what's illegal about that? What's illegal is that percent row type is a PL SQL construct, and this is executing in the SQL environment. So it doesn't know about row type. I can create a nested table of that sort of type to then use in my table function. Hmm. So what do I do instead? Well, it turns out that what I do instead is create an object type that mimics the structure of the relational table. So here's my animal OT, object type, is object, and then the three columns, name, species, date of birth. I know, I know, it'd be better if you didn't have to do this, um, but that's what we have to do. So I, I create my mimic of the table. Let's see if that compiles. Sure. I create a nested table on top of that object type, so a table of object types. And then I can use that nested table type, or a V-array of that type, to return data through my table function. Let's take a look at the table function. This is a fun one. So I've got a function called animal family. I pass in the dad, object type. I pass in the mom, another one of those object types. And I return an array of object types, the whole family. So I start off the family by initializing it to the dad and the mom. And then depending on the species, well, you know how it is with different species, they have different numbers of offspring. So if you're a rabbit, you get 12 babies. If you're a dog, you get four. If you're a kangaroo, you get one. So inside this loop, that is, iterates the specified number of times based on species, I extend, I add into that array the new in the new last location, a baby, the baby name's pretty uncreative, baby one, baby two, baby three, of mom's species, and then I throw in a, a date of birth. So there might be 12 elements in that row in addition to the mom and dad. There might only be four in addition, total of six. There might just be one for a total of three. And then I return that nested table. So let's give this really cool function a try. Here's a select statement in which I call the animal family function. I pass in Hoppy the dad and Hippy the mom. I use the constructor functions for those types right inside my call to the function to create the mom and dad objects. They're both rabbits. There are their birth dates. I put that inside the table clause, and I select from it. Now, first, I'm going to try column value 1, column value 2, column value 3. Maybe it does work. Execute. No, column value 3, invalid identifier. That's not going to work. How about name, species, date of birth? After all, those are the names of the attributes in the object type. This would certainly be nice. And lo and behold, yes. Here we go. 
We've got Hippie and Hoppy, the mom and the dad, and we've got 12 babies, all generated by my table function. And I could have also said select star. So the bad news is that you have to create this object type that mimics the table. Obviously, keeping them in sync, if you change the table, you've got to change the type, create the nested table on top of it. But from that point on, Oracle does that heavy lifting for us. It says, oh, you've got the nested table, you've got the object type, it's got these attributes. We'll treat them as columns in the result set that is returned by the table clause. Really nice. Now, of course, what I wanted to do was an insert select. So let's go ahead and try that. So here's my insert into animals table. Select name, species, date of birth from animal family, hoppy and hippie. Run my insert. 14 rows inserted. That's nice. Let's see what they look like. And now in my table, animals, we see the same data that we saw coming back from the nested table, uh, table function execution. I don't just have to put in rabbits. Let's try kangaroos. So Bob the kangaroo and Sal the kangaroo have an animal family. Insert into that animal's table. Three rows inserted. Run my query. And now I've got, let's see, 14 rabbits and three kangaroos, mom and dad and baby. And there you have it, folks. How to create a table function that returns an array of multiple elements that you can then insert into another table with matching number of columns or simply manipulate as you see fit. So the basic idea is you create an object type that either mimics the table that you want to insert into or is simply a collection of those attributes that match your requirements. It may be that you're simply selecting out a number of values that you're creating programmatically and then using them as the basis of a report. So this doesn't have to be the same as a table structure. That was just the example from this video. You create the object type, you create the nested table, or you could create a V-Array as well of that type. And then every attribute in your object type, name, species, date of birth, are available to be used as the names of columns in the result set, the relational result set that's returned by the table clause that converts the nested table of object types that is returned by the table function. The Dev Gym offers quizzes, workouts, and classes on Oracle technology. And we encourage you to take the class if you're not already signed up for it and check out the workouts and quizzes as well.